Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a character discussion on Hatsuke Kakashi, the sensei of Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura throughout part one of the series, and the leader of Team Kakashi, which consists of Naruto Zamaki and Haruto Sakura, and eventually Sai. Now, let's talk about Kakashi's backstory quickly. Kakashi was a child prodigy and son of the White Fang. He was introduced in, I believe, Chapter 3. But, he was a child prodigy and the son of the White Fang. And he eventually went on to train under Minato Namikaze, Naruto's father and future fourth Hokage. Kakashi uh, was a prodigy. He became a Jonin at age 12. So when Naruto, Sake, and Sakura were in the tuning his hands, Kakashi was a Joni. Kakashi was a genius. Child prodigy. So Kakashi was on a mission with his teammates Obito and Rin when Rin or Rin or Rin was captured by a group of enemy ninjas. I believe they were hitting rock ninjas. But I could be wrong. My memory for that arc is a teeny bit fuzzy in terms of the finer details. But, Rin was captured by enemy ninja. Kakashi wanted to forget about her and just go on with a mission. Kakashi's father, Sakamo, had commit, ended up committing suicide because of all the grudges people held against him for breaking the rules and putting his comrades before the mission. So Kakashi was like, fuck my friend. The mission comes first. Now, this is where things get interesting. Obito called Kakashi, those to break the rules and the laws are scum, but those who abandon your friends are worse than scum. Kakashi helps Obito go rescue Rin, lost his eye in the process, and then when Obito was crushed by the boulder, he gave Kakashi his shotting gun. Later on, Kakashi would go on to kill Rin. Now, what happened there? was that Wynne had, had had the three tails sealed inside of her by an enemy. And what Rin, what happened was the plan was that they would release it via a release jitsu into Konoha and destroy the healing leaf village. So to protect her family, her village, and friends, she got in the way of Kakashi Shidori and excessively committed suicide. But to Kakashi, he killed her. His Shidori killed her. And Obito, of course, saw this. From his from the Shinigan thanks to Kakashi. Now that's his backstory. He would later go on to remember the Amu Black Ops for a couple of years. From that time, pretty much until uh, early on in prior to part one, where he became a Jodin instructor and would take on multiple teams. Now, he failed them all. They all failed. His tech was very simple. It was a teamwork based. And you had to either work together to get the bell, or share food with, with your teammate who was tied up. None of the other teams did this. The first team to even consider it, the third people to even consider sharing the food were Sake Uchiha and Haruno Sakura, who realized that they needed to share food and stick by Naruto to pass, because that was what was right. They didn't do it to pass the test. They did it because they felt if Sake and Sakura uh, realized Naruto was their teammate, they don't like him, but they need to stick by him. So they fed their their food with it, and Kakashi passed Team 7. Now, Team 7 obviously had parallels to its original team. Sakura is Rin, Naruto is Obito, and Sake is him. Kakashi even comments that Sasuke reminds him of him when he was a young boy. That's the first thing you need to understand. Kakashi comments on that. Kakashi's a badass. Kakashi is awesome. Now, Kakashi doesn't fight a lot in this story. He 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 fights Zabuza, which is actually his only full-length feature fight in the whole story that he wins. He's the sensei. He's more so meant to be a mentor figure than a fighter. He's more so meant to mentor Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, if anything else. And later on, Naruto and Sakura only when Sasuke leaves Konoha. 
Now, this is where we want to talk about something interesting regarding Kakashi. He's a really shitty sensei. He really is. So, Kakashi really only, we know of, only taught Naruto and Sakura one thing alongside Sasuke. He taught them how to climb trees. Besides for that, everything else that he taught them, he taught Uchiha Sasuke. So he either taught Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto together, but everything else that he taught, he didn't teach them anything else. He didn't. He taught Sakura nothing else that we're aware of. And Naruto he didn't teach anything to until he helped him with the Grasa and Shinikin training. And even then, hold on, got a notification. And then, even then, Sasuke is still like a god. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, she, she treats him like a god. Like, in part one, Naruto asked Kakashi to train him for the shooting exam. He actually said, no, I'm training Sasuke. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is one of the reasons I don't like Kakashi. He plays heavy favoritism towards Sasuke. He ignores Naruto. And, let me ask, the for the people that don't like Sakura, let me remind you of the situation. Kakashi is being paid by the Hokage. To teach Naruto Uzumaki, Haruno Sakura, and Uchiha Sake. Mind you, he's supposed to teach Naruto and Sakura. So, he denied Naruto training, but he finds him a sensei. Sakura failed the tuning exam. She failed. And he does nothing. Now, and you could argue Sakura wasn't motivated, but that's his problem. Like, that is literally his problem. Sakura's a 12-year-old girl. She's not, it isn't like in part two where she's like 17 and capable of making her own decisions. She needs somebody to guide her and make her do work. I guarantee, that girl would have been a bet, would have been incredible, would probably have been more powerful than Doc Game in part two, but God, he actually had done a job. And like, give it, and she had started training even earlier. I'm just throwing guests out here, but Kakashi was just like, oh, like. You know, it's like Sakura shouldn't need to ask Kakashi. Kakashi be like, I'm your teacher. I'm, you're going to do this because I said so. Get to work because I don't want you to die out there. But no, Kakashi doesn't care what happened to Sakura. He does not care. Like, he doesn't care. She, like, she, she could have died multiple times because he under he, he didn't train her. She failed the tuning in there and he gave her nothing. No sensei, no training regimen. Like, he just let her offend it about being laid and hanging out with Eno. Like, no. Like, that's terrible teaching. He taught Naruto nothing. Like, he taught, like, he, no, he's slightly better with Naruto. But that's only when Sasuke leads and because the Akashi are after him. But, like, yes, he does play some role. Like, he does, he does the teaches Naruto and Sakura thing. He helps them become who they are later on. I'm not going to deny that. If you look in uh, the Sai and Saki arc, there's a thing where Sakura is about to actually pretty much, you could argue he's probably about to attack Yamato just because he suggests they abandon Naruto. He definitely shaped who they are and mentored them mentally. But in terms of being a member of an actual teacher, he really sucks at it. And that's the major problem. Uh, one thing about Kakashi that, is that he likes to read porn in public. Yeah, I, he likes to read Jiraiya's Isha Isha pa series or Make Out Tactics or Make Out Paradise. He likes to read that. Um, it's implied to be porn. We all know it's porn. Anybody with two brain cells can put it together that it is porn. Jiraiya writes these books. They are porn. He reads them in public. In fact, one of his favorite activities that, uh, you know, the side credit student is to read porn. That's one of the things he loves to do. Like, like I remember, I mean, you remember in part two, he was supposed to evaluate Naruto and Sakura's growth. He, Naruto got, got him a copy of Make Out Paradise, and he proceeded to tell them to go wait at the training ground. And then proceeded to go read his porn for like two hours while Naruto and Sakura just chilled in the training ground and talked about how Kakashi was reading porn. <laughs> so yeah, Kakashi likes to read porn. Kakashi is decent with the Shining God, 
a downside to the shotting gun um, being a uh, implant is that he can't turn it off. So we have to cover it all the time. Otherwise, he'd be continuously using it. Um, Kati is capable of using Kamoi, which is the technique Obito uses. He's very good at Kamoi. Um, Kakashi, Kakashi is actually called Kakashi a, a copy ninja. He said to copy over a thousand jitsu, but he doesn't really copy them much. Kakashi is Kage level. He can move with his Johnny Gon at least. We don't know about without it. He is incredibly powerful. Kakashi can take on Naruto, Sake, and Sake. Higashi took on Naruto and Sakura both in the beginning of part 2 with ease. He, like, he did have to try, but he was really toying with them. Like, he, he, uh, he, he knew Water Dragon. So, he wasn't that much stronger than him. Like, he was taking it seriously, but he would def they definitely couldn't beat Kakashi. Now, I think where things get weird. Kakashi loses relevance. Like, for like an entire arc. After the science, after the Kate Kage Rescue arc is incapacitated for the entire science Nake arc. Which, which obviously only there would be they needed to introduce Yamato because he, Kishi needed Naruto to lose control of Bakubi. Uh, I, I guess he needed that, I guess he could have, uh, I guess Sakura needed to see it happen. I don't know why. It's a, Maybe because she need maybe because she would need to be able to have maybe well then again maybe that's a weird that's a weird decision but he, he could have had it happen in a Mikaze Kage rescue arc but I'm just going to assume Sakura needed to see him lose control so she could know what to do with a pain invasion arc then a pain attack Konoha Sakura uh, knows from the Naruto lose control he's like. We need to evacuate. That is not a stage ability. He's losing control of a cubic. So maybe that's why Kakashi was taken out. Maybe that's why he had to be Yamato. And Naruto had to lose control of that arc. I'm not sure. But Kakashi was definitely meant to have that kind of character arc. Um, Kakashi didn't really have any character arc until Obito reappeared. Where of course the math man Toby turned out to be Obito. And he's like, because you let Rin die. And Kakashi goes through, like, denial. He's like, no, 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 no. It can't be Obito. And, honestly, I think Kakashi was kind of a bitch about it. Like, he really was. He was like, oh my god, it can't be. And I'm like, dude, the third Okage fought the dead for, for, yeah, sorry about that. The third Okage fought the dead first and second Okage. I don't think this is that unbelievable, in my opinion. I really don't. Um, Kakashi would later go on to become the sixth Okage, per Obito's request. And he's speaking about Obito, let's talk about Susano. During the fight with Kagura, Kakashi uses Susano. <coughs> that scene is bullshit. I hate that. I despise that need for a multitude of reasons. The main one being the fact that Kakashi should not be able to use this. I know. He can, in the beginning of part two, he can only use Kamoi like twice. And then he was incapacitated for an entire arc. That was actually the reason he, he didn't leave Naruto and Sakura and die on that mission. Alright, that was bullshit. Now, the Masutano is thinking of bullshit, and the way it happened, like Obito coming back and giving Kakashi his no. No. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. That is bullshit. Alright, that is bullshit. Now, Naruto. Sasuke and Sakura would go on to defeat Kagura with Kakashi's help. Uh, Kakashi did do the strategy, but Susano's thing was still bullshit. He would go on to become the fifth Hokage and reign for like not long. He only. I don't know how long, but he couldn't have been Hokage less than 10 years. He couldn't have. Because Naruto becomes the Hokage. 
But granted, most Hokage don't seem to rule for that long. They seem to rule for like five or six years, and then they either die or they step down. They're not the only rule for like five or six. They're not the only rule for like four or five years. Like they're not a they're not a rule for what three four years something like that three or four years he ruled for. I mean, Kayashi probably, Kayashi ruled, we know, from 699 to, uh, but then Naruto became Okage. That must have been, like, ten, maybe, like, five, three, four, five years, I would say. So, yeah, Kayashi was just Okage. Um, uh, he is actually, in my opinion, the weakest Okage, just because I, I think Sakura and Lunati are stronger than him. I think Naruto is stronger. Hajirama, Tobirama, Haruzin, Minato, I think they're all stronger than him. He just, I don't think Kakashi that that tough without his shotting gun. So, but that's just my opinion. Now, now we get in to Kakashi in the last. Kakashi is really good at believing in Naruto. He buys Naruto and he knocks that time take down Toneri. If it wasn't for him, they would have just blown up the Kage, would have just blown up the move, killed Naruto and Hinata. Granted, Sai and Granted, Sakura and Sai and Jigamaru may have been able to get up there and like warn everybody. And Toneri, Naruto and Hinata probably would have just all gotten the hell off of the moon. And but maybe not. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not Kishimoto. So, but there is a scene, a meteor is about to destroy Konoha. Sasuke has to come in and save him. Kakashi is not that great of a Hokage, in my opinion. Um, he doesn't even remember Team 7 I had the least to say about. Just because he's very straightforward. He, 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 he's the mentor to Team 7. That's all he really is. He's been mentored to Team 7. He had a small character arc with Obito, but it's not even written that well. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video if you did. Tell me your thoughts on Kakashi and his actions in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. It's a One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.